coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. Sky Angel's Air Ambulance adds PAL V flying car to fleet. AFSOC becomes first American buyer for Sky Guardian UAS. And Archer nears completion of first Midnight Evital. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Sky Angel's Air Ambulance adds PAL-V flying car to fleet. A UK-based medevac company has announced a partnership with PAL-V for the use of their Liberty flying car. The Liberty combines aspects of an aircraft with the terrestrial mobility of a traditional automobile, providing the best of both capabilities with access to speedy, ubiquitous road infrastructure. The PAL-V will see use as a fast response vehicle with paramedics and doctors able to arrive on scene faster and more efficiently to begin treatment sooner than any other method. David Polo Marks, air boss of Sky Angel, said, quote, Range, payload, and practicality are key factors when considering a flying car for our air ambulance service. The PAL-V Liberty is not just an aircraft and neither is it just a car, it's both. The fact that the aircraft can drive on roads means that it's not restricted by weather conditions. And it's a car that can fly which doesn't need roads makes it an ideal solution for our emergency response needs, especially in areas where ground infrastructure is limited. We are thrilled to have PAL-V as our partner and look forward to utilizing their unique technology in our operations." End quote. And after the break, U.S. Army selects Aero Environments Jump 20 for FT-UAS program. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next 10 minutes. U.S. Army selects Aero Environment's Jump 20 for FT-UAS program. The Aero Environment Jump 20 is a fixed-wing, uncrewed VTOL ISR aircraft primarily focused on providing multi-sensor intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The Jump 20 was evaluated alongside a field of competing aircraft to attain the honor of replacing the long-lived RQ-7B Shadow UAS. Once the FT-UAS program reaches Increment 2, the Jump 20 and its peers will be handed over to Brigade Combat Teams. The Jump 20 sports a 115-mile range and 14 hours of endurance with a 30-pound payload. Top Aces buys into EpiSci for Tactical AI Top Aces, the commercial operator of civilian-owned F-16 aggressors, announced their investment in EpiSci, a tactical AI developer. The company said the investment, quote, expands on Top Aces' commitment of providing world-class training to the next generation of combat leaders, end quote, getting out in front of the AI trend and, quote, positioning the company at the forefront of development and training in the future human-machine collaborative battlefield, end quote. The company's work in AI has already begun, with their proprietary advanced aggressor mission system already underway. Lockheed Martin KAI and Red 6 announce augmented reality TF-50 system. Lockheed Martin has joined hands with Korea Aerospace Industries and Red 6 Aerospace to bring the latter's airborne tactical augmented reality system into the KAI TF-50. The system gives pilots and ground operators new capabilities to see and interact with synthetic threats in real-time, high-speed environments. Launch customer for all-electric EDA-40 named. Diamond Aircraft, the Austrian-built manufacturer of general aviation aircraft and Lufthansa Aviation Training, the flight academy subsidiary of German flag carrier Lufthansa, have signed a letter of intent expressing the two entities' intention to jointly explore and develop means by which flight training may be undertaken more sustainably. 
The LOI speaks to Diamond Aircraft's and LAT's shared commitment to meeting the targets of the EASA European Green Deal and Sustainable Aviation Program. And that was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. AFSOC becomes first American buyer for Sky Guardian UAS. General Atomic snagged a new contract with the U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command for three of their MQ-9B Sky Guardians. AFSOC now becomes the first U.S. customer for the 9B model. The new Sky Guardian will take up a, quote, key role in developing AFSOC's new adaptive airborne enterprise concept, end quote, which expects the AFSOC to project air power from far beyond the horizon. The A2E system will hinge on a similar idea to the older USAF high-low concept, where larger, pricier elements like the Sky Guardian will be accompanied by smaller, expendable UAS assets for use in denied environments. David R. Alexander, president of General Atomic, said, quote, We are very excited to continue our great partnership with AFSOC well into the future. MQ-9B is the ideal platform for inserting air-launched effects into potentially hostile environments. The MQ-9B's combination of range, endurance, reduced manpower footprint, and overall flexibility will make it a true centerpiece of AFSOC's future family of advanced UAS systems." End quote. Since being unveiled, the MQ-9B has been picking up a good deal of interest from customers around the world. Recent wins include a contract with the UK MOD, where the Sky Guardian was selected for the Protector program. And after these messages, Archer nears completion of first Midnight EVTOL. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Archer nears completion of first Midnight EVTOL. Archer is heralding the final assembly of the first production Midnight EVTOL. The company reports all major aero structures to include the machine's fuselage, wing, and empennage have been built and made it into a cohesive aircraft. What's more, a significant portion of the inaugural Midnight's wiring, electronics, flight control system actuators, and additional systems have been successfully installed. Archer's development schedule calls for flight testing of the Midnight EVTOL to commence in mid-2023. The aircraft currently nearing completion will be utilized in preliminary intra-company ground and flight testing in advance of FAA vetting and type certification. In addition to the aforementioned specimen, Archer has begun manufacturing components destined for inclusion in a soon-to-be-produced Midnight conforming aircraft, the flight testing of which will occur in 2023's fourth quarter. Archer intends to build at least six conforming Midnight aircraft for use in the company's four-credit testing with the FAA in support of Midnight's eventual type certification. Piloted flight testing of subject-conforming aircraft, which are to be constructed at Archer's San Jose, California Manufacturing Facility and Integrated Test Lab, is slated to get underway in early 2024. Aircraft conformity certification and inspections are performed for purpose of verifying a given aircraft conforms to its type design certification and is configured to approved specifications. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.